The team at Parks made painstaking preparations for the moon landing. Despite some unseasonal wind, everything went to plan. The technical uh, skill that they have developed over the years is extremely important to us in the uh, conduct of the Apollo mission. It's that skill and expertise that have earned the radio telescope a place on the National Heritage List. It recognises the, the great contributions to, to Australian science and technology that the CSIRO has achieved with this telescope. The dish is famous for its involvement in beaming pictures of the moon landings to NASA, but it was also the first to discover flashes of energy from intergalactic space known as fast radio bursts. Its listing is entirely appropriate. It's rural and regional, it's scientific, it's international best practice and it's the future. The listing protects the dish from anything that could interfere with its work, such as developments nearby. The telescope now joins the likes of Sydney's Bondi Beach, Kakadu National Park and Flemington Racecourse in Melbourne, which have all been given National Heritage listing, but the dish's inclusion came with a caveat. It doesn't preserve it as a museum piece. What it does is it gives us the protection so that we can continue doing the great science. We can continue upgrading the telescope with new instrumentation, upgrades to the structure. It's been our iconic visitor attraction for years and it's been a world leading instrument of its type and this will be the first listing of a, an operational instrument in our heritage list. Notching up another first in its long list of achievements. Joanna Woodburn, ABC News, Parks.